everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video you know guys after finishing all my very big and very complicated halloween special dolls this week i feel like working on something a little bit more relaxing on something a little bit different and that's why i think this is a perfect moment to repaint another big disney princess styling hat and that's why i've bought this beautiful Rapunzel doll. She's actually quite special. She's a little bit different than my other Disney princess dolls that I've repainted before on this channel because you can see she's much bigger. She's probably twice as big as my previous Disney princesses that I've repainted here and she has these arms here. It's also very special so let's see what I can make about this doll and like always my goal for today is to try to make this doll to look realistic like a real girl just trying to imagine how Rapunzel would look if she was a real girl I've already repainted Rapunzel here on my channel uh, this year I think yes we're in the beginning of this year I turned the monster high doll into a Rapunzel and my mom made a beautiful outfit for her so and today it's time for this big Rapunzel styling hat so Let's wipe off her makeup and let's start the transformation like always guys in the beginning of the video I just have to remind you to subscribe to my channel uh, Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I upload new videos every week Friday or every second week Friday depends on the size of the project And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes because it really helps my channel So and this being said, let's start working I've removed all this shiny reflecting packaging so we can see the doll better and you can see that she's really huge, like really one of the biggest faces I've ever painted in my life. This hand is luckily moving, otherwise it would be seriously on the way. Uh, the dress is sculpted this time, so I will probably not touch it too much. There is no way here to remove the dress like I did previously with my other dolls where we had just dresses painted on. So I will work with her dress like it is. She also has a bunch of accessories, of course, and you know, this time these accessories even look kind of fun, better than from the previous Disney princess hats. It's all quite useful, but of course it was also a more expensive doll, so I think this is the reason. Her hair isn't really Rapunzel's hair, it's not that long, but you know, it's actually quite thick, and I don't see any serious bald spots here, you know, I think she has one of the better hair for this type of doll, I'm really happy about what I can see right now I've seen much worse situations in my life so it's really okay quite happy about it I just find her body proportions a little bit strange to be honest like her neck is a little bit too short and these puffy sleeves they make it visually even shorter and also her shoulders are not wide enough in my opinion so it all has kind of cartoonish proportions but anyway let's remove her face with pure acetone and then we'll start the transformation and we'll see where we will end up in the end of everything She will have, of course, huge green eyes, pink lips, and you know, I really like this smirk. This is exactly how Rapunzel smiles in the movie, so let's try to draw it all, but try to make it more realistic.
finishing the face, I want to add some extra shadows and dimension to her dress because it looks kind of too flat right now. I'm painting her nails. And after this, I think it's time to style her hair. Rapunzel has long and shiny hair, no special styling, nothing too complicated for me today, just loose and flowy hair. So I will use my big hair straightener, it's like my own personal hair straightener, because this doll's hat is almost as big as my own. So I will get rid of all these waves and fluffiness in her hair using the hair straightener. I think it looks really good. I'm very happy. I think she really looks like Rapunzel right now. So let's attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then I guess we'll take a look at the end result pictures. No, guys, wait, <laughs> no pictures yet. I forgot the freckles. Rapunzel has freckles and it's very important. So let's spray them on carefully, trying to not ruin her eyes and lashes. And now it's finally pictures time, you know I was worried a little bit about this doll because of her somewhat strange proportions, I wasn't sure if it would look good with her new more realistic face, but I think she looks absolutely amazing in the end, you know I don't really see this cartoonish body proportions anymore as much as I did in the beginning of this makeover, I don't know it's kind of strange, maybe I've been just looking at her for too long and I just got used to it. I don't know, I think she looks very cute, she looks much more realistic, she really looks like a real girl now, and I also think that she really looks like Rapunzel, she's still very recognizable. I don't know, what do you think guys, does she still look like Rapunzel to you, and what do you think about this makeover in general? So please, let's discuss her in the comments under this video, and if you want to adopt this doll, you can check my eBay page, she's available there for 3 days for sale as usually. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoyed this makeover, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon, next week, Friday, in a very, 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 very special doll makeover, I'm really excited about the next one, so see you there in a week, love you guys, bye!